Hi guys, today we are going to cover the 7 deadly sins of SHSAT. Know that if you are conducting these sins, the SHSAT score will not forgive you. Let's go! SHSAT sin number 1 is not approximating. We are going to cover Problem number 112 from test B of SHSAT 2022. One SIND is equal to 5.6 RICS. One SIND is equal to 12.88 DOLTS. Using the conversion above, how many DOLTS are equal to one RIC? What most of you will realize is that 5.6 RICS is equal to 12.88 DOLTS. That which is correct. From here, you'll just divide by 5.6, divide by 5.6, you'll get one RIC is equal to 12.88 over 5.6. That's where most of you will start the simplification process. You will either start simplifying the fraction, maybe divide this by 2, this is 644 over 2.8, and you'll just keep simplifying this, or you will start doing the long division. So you will say, okay, 12.88 over 5.6, this one has two decimal spots, this one has one, so let's just add one more. So that's gonna be equal to 1288 over 560. And then let me start doing the long division, right? Which is two, and then you just proceed. That's how most of you will attack this problem. In reality, what you have to do is once you got to the point of 12.88 over 5.6, you can see clearly that approximately this is equal to 2. So using approximation, look at multiple choices. It's clearly not E. E is too tiny. G and H are just too large. So it has to be F. You just saved yourself so much time, so much mental focus. You don't have to do any of the shenanigan with the fraction simplification or long division. Super simple, super easy, super straightforward. SHSAT sin number two is not simplifying fractions. We are going to cover problem number 108 from test B of SHSAT 2022. In the equation above, what is the value of P? And this is the equation. What most of you will start doing right away is apply the butterfly method. So 14 times 7 is equal to 21p. So you get 14 times 7 is equal to 21p. What is 14 times 7, right? Like you will start thinking about this and then you'll get to 98. So now it's 98 is equal to 21p. Now let's divide both sides by 21, divide both sides by 21. So you get p equals 98 over 21. It's not any of these answers, so now you have to start simplifying. By what? You know that seven, uh, 21 is 7 and 3, so you'll start dividing 98 by 3, doesn't go, so then you divide 98 by 7, so that's equal to, uh, what, 14 over 3, and you get to G, right? So that's how most of you will do this. The best way is to realize that you can start the simplification process earlier on. You get 14 over 21, they're both divisible by seven. So just say that this is equal to two over three. You need to simplify your fractions. That's equal to P over seven. Now, if you're gonna apply the same butterfly method, two times seven, 14 is equal to three P, and then P is equal to 14 over 3, which is the same answer G, just received so much faster. You A, didn't have to multiply a more complicated 14 times 7, then you didn't have to simplify 98 over 21, because you just simplified right away the 14 over 21. Simplify your fractions. SHSAT sin number 3 is not plugging in. We are going to cover problem number 86 from test A of SHSAT 2021. If n is a whole number and 0 0.01 is between 1 over n and 1 over n plus 2, what is the value of n? Difficult. It's a difficult problem. You got 1 over n, you got 0 0.01, which is really 1 over 100, and then you get 1 over n plus 2. Like, what is it? How to solve this? The fastest way is just to plug it in. When you start plugging in all the multiple choices, it's just going to be faster, right? Sounds like, oh, I have to plug in four things. It's extremely fast. So A is equal to zero, right? So if you're going to plug this one, we get one over zero and one over two. So one over zero, not defined. You can't have A. A is out. Let's go with B. So you get one half and one third. Now, one half and one third 
is clearly larger than 0 0.01, which is 1 over 100. So B is out. Let's plug in C. For C, you get 1 over 2 and 1 over 4, right? N plus 2, 1 over 4. Now, 1 over 100 also is too tiny to be in between. So C is out. That's it. It has to be D. You didn't think. You didn't spend any of your mental focus. All you've done is just plug in the answers. Super straightforward, extremely fast. No need to think. And now you can save all this mental focus, all this mental power on really difficult problems of SHSAT. SHSAT sin number four is not solving multivariable equation. We are going to cover the problem number 93 from test A of SHSAT 2023. This is a super complicated word problem right that's how it seems like i am not even reading this i don't care i'm ignoring this i'm not going to read this i don't think i've ever read that paragraph ever now we have this formula right here that we need to pay attention to now if the formula is sold for w it can be used to find the number of words in the words p whatever what will be the formula if it's solved for w essentially you just need this last sentence here and you need the formula itself okay we got four different variables we got p we got r we got w we got f super complicated most of you will just skip this problem but this problem or any multivariable problems are actually super easy so let me rewrite this so you get p is equal to one over r w plus f all you have to do is isolate the term with w leave it on one side and move everything else to the other side so we got plus f here so let's just do minus f minus f so you get p minus f is equal to 1 over r w it's also written in this weird format because w is really w over 1 let's not forget that so p minus f is just equal to w over r now we have w over r but we just need w so let's multiply both sides by r because we'll be able to cancel it here and when we multiply by r don't forget the brackets so you get r p minus f is equal to w and the answer is e sounds again very complicated sounds like i've done so many different steps here it's it sounds easy when you do this type of problems maybe 20 30 40 times there are a bunch of worksheets out there online for multivariable equations the wrong thing to do is to completely skip these problems the rule number one to remember with multivariable equations is this move everything with the variable you're looking for onto one side and everything else onto the other side You've done that, you've done 50% of the problem. SHSAT sin number five is not acing mental math. Most of you are totally conducting this sin. We are going to cover problem number 63 from test A of SHSAT 2024. Before we jump to the problem really quickly, in order not to conduct the sin, simply memorize this table. All right, now the problem. Estimate three to the fourth power plus seven to the fourth power most of you don't know these if you memorize the exponent tables shown prior you will be able to answer this question super fast 3 to the fourth power i personally know off the top of my head 81 7 to the fourth power i know off the top of my head 24 0 1 you add those up and you see the ncc it's extremely simple you don't know your mental math you'll spend quite a lot of time on this problem 3 to the 4th you may be able to figure out, 7 to the 4th you'll do 7 squared times 7 times 7, this is going to be 49 times 7, that will take you forever, then whatever that answer is, which is 343, you multiply this by 7 to get to 2401, just memorize the table guys. SHSAT sin number 6 is not memorizing exponent rules. We are going to cover problem 103 from test B of SHSAT 2024. In order not to conduct this sin, all you have to do is memorize these exponent rules. Now let's go to the problem. What is the value of the expression above in decimal form? So we got a couple of complicated ones here. This is complicated, this is complicated, this is complicated, and this is complicated. <laughs> all, all three are complicated. But if you know your exponent rules, it's all easy. So let's go one by one. Zero to the third power is just zero times zero times zero is just zero. Okay, four to the power of zero, check the formulas. That's equal to one. All right, so this is zero, this is one. Two to the power of minus one. 
Most of you say, say this is minus 2 or something like this. It's wrong. It's equal to, remember the formula, a to the n minus n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So 2 to the minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 to the 1 or just 1 half. So this is 1 half. And finally, the last one, minus 1 squared. That's equal to minus 1 times minus 1, which is just positive 1. So you got 0 plus 1 plus 1 half plus 1. The answer is D. Memorize your exponent rules. Finally, SHSAT sin number 7. Not easily dividing decimals. We are going to cover the problem number 100 from test A of SHSAT 2021. 3.6 divided by 0 0.018. Most of you will skip this problem. Almost every single student just skips it. It's too complicated. What to do? Easy. 3.6 over 0 0.018. You got three decimal spots here. Three, right? You got only one here. So add two more. Zero and zero. Now you got three and three. Once you got the same exact decimal spots on both top and bottom, you can remove the decimal spots altogether. So you could just get 3600 divided by 18. I know right away it's H. If you don't know this, either do long division or start simplifying. Simplify by nine. This is equal to 400. This is equal to two, right? Just divide by nine. Now I divide by two. You get 200 over one or just 200, right? That's how you do it. Not knowing division of decimals is a major sin. That's why we prepared a special last minute cram course that will prepare you for your SHSAT test within a super short period of time. You can access our last minute cram course by clicking the link in the video description below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you. Bye-bye.